with the throwing caution to the wind approach that Glendale Uni Unified School District has taken with regards to Wi-Fi and cordless electronic devices. In September of this year, my child's third grade classroom teacher started a bring your own device to class program. When she first proposed the idea at back to school night, I truly thought that there was no way that the district or the principal would allow such a program to go forth. These devices are constantly emitting harmful radio frequency radiation. Hundreds of studies have, been linked, have linked radiation to all types of threatening diseases from cancer, infertility, to chromosomal damage, DNA damage. It was the reason why I never allowed my kids to have cell phones, and that's why we don't own an iPad at home. I quickly learned that no one was aware of these studies, not the principal, not the teacher, not the parents, and certainly not the district. The teacher was allowed to move forward with her program with the principal's and the district's blessings. I took it upon myself to educate all those involved about these dangers because I knew that no parent would subject their children to this if they knew what the dangers were. I sent out an email with links to the hundreds of studies that proved how unsafe this technology was. That week, devices in the classroom dropped from 18 devices to two devices. Now no devices are being used in my son's third grade classroom. As members of this board, you must know that it is your responsibility to research the over 1,800 scientific articles published by the Bioinitiative 2012 report, showing the harmful effects of not only these devices, but also the Wi-Fi that our children are being exposed to six hours a day, five days a week. You also have the obligation to inform parents about these risks so they are able to make the informed decision on whether or not to subject their precious children to them. We owe it to these children to do the right thing and put their health and safety above all else. I am aware of the Princeton study that shows that these results are inconclusive at best. I also know the dangers of tobacco and lead and asbestos. They were inconclusive for a long time, too. It, is, it did not make them any less dangerous. Members of the board, are you, are you proposing to force me and every parent to donate our children as guinea pigs until radio frequency radiation studies become more conclusive? Please note that any money that you have invested in the project will be dwarfed by the lawsuits that you will be faced with if any of our children get sick due to this poorly, this poorly studied venture you want to embark upon. In a citation written by 10 medical doctors, 21 PhDs, 3 MSCs, in the 2012 Bioinitiative Report, schools are strongly urged to take a step back from this technology. And this is a quote. School districts that are now considering all wireless learning environments should be strongly cautioned that wired environments are likely to provide better learning and teaching environments and prevent possible adverse health consequences for both students and faculty in the long term. There is sufficient scientific evidence to warrant the selection of wired internet, wired classrooms, and wired learning devices rather than making an expensive and potentially health-harming commitment to wireless devices that may have to be substituted out later. And finally, wired classrooms should should reasonably be provided to all students who opt out of wireless environments. And this is a study done by Herbert and Sage in 2012, Section 20. I urge Glendale Unified School District to read the sound scientific evidence to put our children's safety as top priority. There is no other acceptable option. Thank you.